I love whenever people comment so angrily on one of my videos because then it gives me an idea for a video. So let's just dive on into it, shall we? People don't understand how to comment on my videos. What's up, everybody? Your favorite man with an ultra ball has written a book. It's called My Very Happy Life, and it details my journey living with my rare cancer diagnosis known as Von Hippel-Lindau disease. I want the book to inspire you and encourage you to reach for your dreams, and the best part is half of all profits are going to support the VHL Alliance in order to help raise awareness on VHL. Link to my book is in the description. I hope you enjoy it. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It's your host with the most, Avery LR32 here, and destroy the the ever-living boo-boo stain over that subscribe button as we climb even closer to the 1100 ladder. We're currently sitting at 1,083 subscribers, and ladies and gentlemen, I could not be happier and more thankful to each and every one of you. And uh, I'm staring at a comment that uh, I just deleted, and it's, it's really funny. Um, so here's the thing. I don't know if People are trolling me or what. Also, side note, I really do appreciate all the support. Hope you're having a great day. I forgot to add that part in. I don't know if people are trolling me on YouTube. I don't know if people just do it because they only watch part of the video. If people are doing it to troll me, it's funny. If people are doing it because they don't watch the whole fucking video, even though I say that all the time in my comment section, then it's just annoying and it just makes you look stupid. <laughs> so, as I predicted, I got some hate on my Trap Tricks structured deck video and I said don't buy the trap trick structure deck because outside of evenly matched commons which is sexy and a feather duster reprint that we really didn't need but I'll take anyway you could have reprinted change of heart in this or something but you didn't who cares whatever screw me right I'm just a dude on the internet um but outside of the evenly matched reprint which I even said in the fucking video that you should still buy three structure decks potentially depending on what kind of bargain you can get them for. Not for the $11.99 price tag. Then it's just not worth it. You're losing money. But for like $9.99, $8.99, $7.99 as low as I've seen at some places. Yes, you should get three structure decks. Uh, people have got to just not be watching my videos all the way to the end or they're just trolling me. So the comment that I got on my Trap Tricks video, which the, the, the dude said. <laughs> I can't just have the straight face. The dude seemed so fucking jaded. Like, he just straight up seemed jaded. He's, uh, basically his comment said, you don't know what you're talking about, Avery, because structure decks are meant for casual, local play. You know, we're getting common evenly matches and a Harpy's Feather Duster reprint in this Trap Trick structure deck. Not everything is meant to be meta contending or meta tier or beat the meta. So basically, you're just saying dumbass crap. I'm going to sub to you anyway because I think what you say is funny even though you're an idiot. <laughs> Why would you subscribe? Why would you subscribe? He's probably going to unsub after this video. <laughs> Here's the thing. These type of comments don't bother me. Like, I don't give a shit. Because at the end of the day, I'm a dude on the internet who is going to be just blunt and honest with you because that's how I choose to entertain my audience. It's better than me sounding like DZ's monotone voice and just saying, don't buy the structure deck because it's not very good. Thank you for watching. Goodbye. Like, no, that's not who we are. I'm gonna get in your face on the camera and say that this is booty, booty ass cheeks because it is. And I specifically said, and this is why I talk about commenters don't watch my videos all the way to the end or whatever the hell I titled this video. Because I literally said in the video, ladies and gentlemen, for locals, anything can compete at locals. So if you're buying the structure deck to play at locals, depending on your local metagame, like I have a buddy, shout out to our homie Valley D. He goes to a locals that's literally all competitive players. They're either playing tier element or flunder because all the people that didn't want to play tier element are playing flunder. So he's like, screw this. I'm just going to wait until, you know, another balance comes out because he feels that that's just completely idiotic to be going against flunder and tier at a whole locals. And I don't blame him. However, there are other locals that people go to that maybe they're all playing rogue. Maybe they're all playing, I don't know, true Draco, dark world, like whatever. Anything in theory can compete on a local level so long as you build it somewhat optimally, like to face your local metagame, like seriously. So this dude was getting pissed when I literally said in the video, you can buy this if you want to play at locals. Because again, anything can do well at locals. So I don't know why people get so butthurt when I'm pointing just the facts out. It's like people can't accept the facts of the game. Like I've had people say, we're not in a tier zero format. And it's like, when you look at the data, when you look at the numbers, when you look at the facts, my guy, my girl, whoever the hell you want to identify as a fucking potato, <laughs> like we're in a tier zero format. 
you know, like you look at Spiral and uh, bro, I would have laughed. Pe people would have laughed this person on out the room back in Spiral format that we may or may not do, be doing a retrospective video on. So uh, yeah, you should subscribe for that. Shameless plug. Um, back in Spiral format when that was tier zero, that took at YCS Dallas 29 of the top 32 spots. Hello, that's a tier zero format. But no, in this format, tier element does something somewhat equivalent to that. And it's like, oh no, it's not tier zero, it's tier one. Homie, it's tier zero, like real talk. So <laughs> the, the reason why I make this video is because I just think it's hilarious that people want to hate on me for my opinion, number one. And number two, the fact that like you're not going to see a deck like Trap Tricks or even Dark World do well at a regional or a YCS because the decks just can't compete with the meta. And then something else that really bothers me too is the fact that this person's comment was like, structure decks aren't meant to compete with the meta. Did you hear that? We have a question for you. What the fuck do you call the Albaz Strike structure deck? <laughs> like, seriously, what do you call that? What do, what, what do you even call that? Oh, it was like the one good structure deck that we've had in like 10 years before the Fire Nation attack. The, Konami has proven that they can make structure decks viable to a meta degree because they showed that with Albaz. To a much lesser extent, they showed that with Crystal Beast. They showed that they can add value into a structure deck like with Crystal Beast because we had D-Shifter and Ash Blossom as a reprint. The Albaz Strike structure deck, the whole thing was good value because you had a tier one deck out of the box and that out of three structure decks, you could actually make a somewhat viable competitive Albaz like branded deck just out of those three structure decks when it first came out. So you mean to tell me that we just don't apply that to the trap trick structure deck because it's just something different? No, you hold it to the same standard because you as a player, this goes for anybody, whether you're local, competitive, casual, collector, I don't care. This applies to everybody. You want value in your purchase, especially when Konami wants to raise the price of structure decks. We have gone from $9.99 all the way up to like $10 or even $11.99 now. And you're telling me that we're supposed to accept liquid ass products like the Trap Trick structure deck? Like, yeah, there's one decent reprint, but we've seen better. Like, don't get me wrong. Golf clap for the common evenly match, but we've seen better products. Salamangrate structure deck was a tier one deck out of the box. Albaz structure deck was a tier one deck out of the box. Salamangrate had amazing reprints in the form of Ash Blossom because Ash Blossom was really expensive at the time. Crystal Beast structure deck. We had D Shifter and Ash Blossom reprint. The Crystal Beast structure deck, if you didn't really want to play it, it was kind of a rogue deck, kind of is not. You have to kind of invest a little bit into it for it to be good. But besides the point, we've gotten these good products. And if you're going to be spending more money because Konami wants to jack up the price, then you want to have that good value. Also, side note, someone commented on my Trap Trick Structure Deck video after I spent 10 minutes talking about why you should or why you shouldn't get it. Someone just comments, but you get three evenly matched. I'm like, I literally said in the video, again, going back to that point, I literally said in the video, if you get three structure decks, you get three evenly. So that's why I don't know if people are trolling, which it does make it funny, or people just watch like the first two minutes of my video. That's what I don't understand. Like I was looking at the analytics of my Dark World structure deck video, and on average, people watched about the first minute and a half to two minutes before they clicked off or like made their comment and then clicked off. And so a bunch of people got mad in the comments because they didn't watch the video all the way through to realize that I was saying, look, if you get this structure deck, you need to understand that it's not going to compete at that higher level of play. I said the same thing in the fucking trap trick structure deck, but then people still get butthurt, and which I think is just funny because, you know, it, it, it just is. <laughs> like you're wasting your, your day, you're wasting your life getting mad at a dude that you are never going to meet in the comment section of my video. And all I got to do is go beep remove <laughs> like seriously it don't bother me man i don't care <laughs> i got better things to do in my day i've got cash tier to play test all this stuff i just think it's comical and like if you do watch my video all the way to the end thank you i really do appreciate it the point that i'm just trying to make is, and this goes for any video that you watch on YouTube, watch it all the way to the end, get the full thoughts of the content creator before you get mad at them in the comments or before you hate on them. Like, again, back with this Trap Tricks example, I said in the video, I don't know exactly what point, but I know I said in the video that if you get this structure deck, just understand you're not gonna be able to compete with the meta. But at locals, you may stand a good chance if you build it properly. You may not be able to build a very good Trap Trick structure deck just out of three structure decks out of the box. But there's also some decent reprints. You're getting common evenly match. You're getting a Feather Duster reprint, which 
is always good to have, I guess. Just the, the reason why I say that is because we get players in the game who think that if they just buy three structure decks, then they can compete. And that's just not the case. You know, if you want to compete, you have to invest into the game. That's just the unspoken word of the game. You got to invest your cash money. This is why I tell people all the time in my videos, especially in the market watches, buy this shit or invest in the shit. Right now, people are saying cash tier is expensive. I mean, if you can't afford a case, yeah, I guess it's kind of expensive. Or you just wait till after the pre-sales and you wait for the prices to drop because really cash tier isn't that amazing. And like right now, you should be getting your cash tier stuff. Fenrir's dropped from 70 down to 60 to $61 right now. Unicorns are 22s. Why are you not getting your stuff when you've known about months in advance? But people get mad because they're like, oh, look you, you're being an asshole. Bro, I'm speaking the facts and I'm telling you what you should be thinking of in advance down the line or how you can prepare to play these better decks. I understand that not everybody wants to play the best deck, but even if you want to play something rogue, if you want to play something casual, if you know that new support is down the line for your casual deck, why are you not getting the cards now to play that deck while the prices are low? I don't understand why people get mad about that. <laughs> but I think it's funny and I'm going to keep on putting people on the ban list and I'm going to be removing their comments if they just being rude. <laughs> So guys, please, I hope you got a good laugh on out of this. Please know whether you're subscribed or not to the channel, I do appreciate the views and I appreciate you watching. This isn't me trying to hate on you. You know that I'm grateful for everything that y'all do. Just watching the videos is more than enough that I can ask for. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.